What is up YouTube? It's your girl Amina back with Simple Beauty. And as you can see, y'all, it is trim day. I love a good trim. Who doesn't like a good trim? So let's jump right into this video. As you can see, I am sectioning off my hair. My front is already finished and we're gonna jump right into it. So going in with my white tooth comb. Of course, we like our hair nice and smooth and detangled, making sure you're passing that through several times. And then I like to go in with my dimming brush. And on a micro level, dimming brush gets out any and necessary little knots or kinks that your white tooth comb did not get so make sure you do that part then after this I like to go in with my good old rat tooth comb now on this part I'm very particular about two things one not only are we looking for split ends here but we are also looking for uneven ends so for me I like that good blunt cut straight across I like to make sure that everything is trimmed and lined up together so as you can see I'm gonna bring this a little closer for you, get a little closer. Look, we're gonna get up and personal with this haircut, y'all. Up and personal. I am about to take off a good half an inch of hair, not only because of my split ends, but because of how uneven it is as well. So, putting the hair right between your two fingers and bringing it down to my chest, I'm making sure that I'm taunting my ends and making sure it's flat, and then taking my scissors and going straight across. And just like that, it looks good nice and even and hey i believe that with a nice even cut my hair looks fuller and looks thicker and it just it looks so much better so much more easier to manage as well so going back in on my dimming brush making sure i'm smoothing things out making sure it looks good and hey i think i did a darn good, good job side note it's been three years since i've cut my hair on my own usually my husband my mother or my sister cuts my ends for me but hey since it's covid thing y'all got your girl doing it all by herself so We are going to continue this process doing the same thing I did on my left side. Like I said, using your white tooth comb, your dimming brush, and your red tooth comb and looking for those split ends and uneven ends as well. On this side of my hair, I am making sure not only am I looking for the split ends and uneven ends, I'm also making sure that that side, the right side and the left side matches up. No one likes to go walk around with uneven sides, okay? So I wanna make sure that both sides are even with one another. And as I get a good grip on my hair, I am going right back in. Once again, making sure my hair is taunted, bringing it down to my chest and going straight across with those scissors, making sure I'm getting a good blunt cut. I love a good blunt cut. Once I have both sides nicely brushed out, I bring the both sides down, making sure they're even. And hey, I think I did a darn good job. Check your girl out, looking nice. And we are going to continue this process, y'all, because we got a lot to do. Don't forget to make sure you are sectioning your hair properly. If you like smaller sections, if you like bigger sections, me, I am more in between with my sections. Take your time. Pick whatever you prefer, thick or small sections, and just take your time and go through that process and cut your hair even.
So it may get a little bit more challenging, but stay with me, stay with me through this process. The middle of your head, of course, may seem a little bit more challenging because it, you kind of have to bring it over your forehead a little bit. But like I said, take your time and do this, making sure that your hair is flat and that you're evenly taunting your strands and bring this straight over. It's almost like you're bringing it over your eyebrow a little bit, but bring it straight over, bring it straight down. And once again, and taking those scissors and going in and cutting it straight across. And look, I got a good clean cut. Just bringing it over and bringing it straight across. And if you have any stragglers, make sure you get those too. But just continue that process on the same side. It's just that easy. Very simple. You can do it. Anybody can. Let's get it done. Okay, so as I um, as I get done with both sides, I like to go ahead and twist my hair up and make sure the hair is out of the way so that way we can start on the back of my head. Okay, so the back of my head is definitely the thickest part of my head, so I like to make sure that I section this area off several times. I can't give you a specific number of how many times I actually divided my hair in the back. So, but as you can see, I have two ponytails in the back and I'm going in with the pick comb and making sure I'm, I am detangling my hair as well. You must take your time when you're working on the back of your head because of course we do not have eyes in the back of our heads. Oh, it would be so lovely to have eyes in the back of our heads, but of course we do not. So we're gonna take our time and get through this process so that way we can have nice even hair all the way around. So with that being said, I do divide my sections up in several um, subsections as well. that part of my hair away I'm gonna go in on that subsection and just make sure that is nicely detangled like I did my fronts and make sure I'm bringing that hair right over my shoulder as you can see I am bringing it right over my shoulder and keeping in mind that that whole blunt cut making sure that my hands are coming down pulling that pulling that hair down taunting that hair as much as possible between my two fingers so that way I can get a nice cut right on top of my chest. And there you have it, a nice, good, clean cut.
Now, once you have both sides cut, once again, bringing that hair down, making sure it's even. And hey, I did it again. Who knew? I'm Houdini out here, y'all, doing my thing. It looks nice. Lovely, lovely done. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I can't be more proud of myself. Three years and I'm still doing this thing correct. So I am going to go ahead and twist that part of my hair hair up and get that out of the way so I can continue on the rest of my section. Okay, y'all, and this is my end results. And I must admit, I am definitely loving this new good trim, okay? Looks like your girl still got the juice though, okay? Definitely let's put not in the back, but we're gonna get that together. But like I said before, a good trim just does a girl good. It allows your hair to look healthier and fuller. I am feeling this. Um, I hope this video will help you. Believe me, I have faith in you. If I can do trim my hair, I haven't trimmed my hair in over three years. I know that you can do it. I have faith in you that you can do it. And I hope these tips helped you. Please let me know in the comments below if you like it. If you don't, please give me a thumbs up if you really do like it. I feel like I really did good on this. I am loving this trim. And then look, plus, I didn't even cut off a lot of hair. So which means I'm doing a good job of making sure my hair is nicely trimmed. But this is it. I am out. This is your girl, Amina. And I'm going to catch you on my next video. See you later.